Hello, you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is your friend Brady coming at you fast with another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. And yes, oh yes, we've got ourselves another Sights and Strats videos for all you beautiful people. You guys nailed it. In about 19 hours, we hit 50 likes, which is epic. Thank you guys so much for helping me out. We're going to raise that bar a little bit here this video. Let's go for 75 likes. 75 likes in the next 24 hours of this video's release. And I will put up the next one right away the very next day. So make sure that you guys hit that like button. And also, I want to ask from you guys just another itsy bitsy favor. There's a button besides the like button on the bottom of this video called the share button. It looks like a sideways V shape, like a triangle. Please share this video, whether through Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Or just show your friends, or just show your Game Battles teammates. I want to spread the joy, I want to spread the awareness, I want to let everybody in on as many of these tips as possible, just so we can help everybody out, because I'm not that big, not a lot of people are going to see this video, so I need your guys' help to spread the word about this video, about this series, because I am planning on making this the most detailed lines of sights video series on YouTube when it comes to Call of Duty, and I've been trying to do that since Black Ops 2. So for those of you who are returning, thank you so much for trusting me on this this round of Sights and Strats videos, and for those that are new, sit back and enjoy, and uh, let's spread the word a little bit. But there we go, pre-log, pre prologue, whatever you call, it, you call it, out of the way, let's get on with the video. So, let's do offense first, as per usual. So usually, I would prefer going B over A. You can definitely go A, but we're going to show B at first. So B can be played two ways. You can either rush super hardcore and try and beat out the defense as fast as possible using this route that I'm using right now. Uh, or you can go really slow. We're going to go over the rush right now. So let's say you grab bomb. You're not wasting any time. You get to this spot, the route that I just used. You jump on that building. You slide. You jump over here. That's the fastest way. As soon as you get here... Expect someone to be right here, right in this little area. And I'll show you guys that from the other perspective here shortly. Expect somebody to be in that area. If you don't see anybody in this area, keep rushing. Because they won't be able to get inside this window and see you yet once you get to this point if you're quick enough. Now also what might happen is they might also jump on top of this building. If they jump on top of this building, you can do one of two things. If you're confident enough, jump up on the side over here and shoot them because you have this height leverage you know you're on the same height as them don't ever try to shoot them from below here because they'll have an easier chance of getting you in the head and you know it'll be easier for them to shoot you rather than you to shoot them so make sure you get the height advantage if you can't do that if you're too scared to challenge make sure you dip away over here to catwalk use your boost twice to make sure that you get away from that situation because if you're like if you just land right here you're just like oh cool nobody's there and you're about to run over here you see a guy jump over there but you feel like he's better than you just be like oh a feel and run this way, you know, past catwalk and rush through catwalk. Now be wary, there might be somebody rushing catwalk. But if nobody's here, nobody jumps up there, keep going and jump this way and pre-aim this corner. Because there might be somebody in this corner, in that corner. Make sure whenever you jump over to this area, pre-aim this side. And this is actually a pretty good corner to be in. You can jump up here and you can just watch somebody coming from there. They might not expect you right away. And if you pre-aim, you should be able to get first shot on them. And uh, you should be able to win that gunfight, you know, while jumping and dodging and weaving and jumping up here and stuff. You can you can do a lot of stuff in this little area. So, another thing that you can do is you can also jump up on this windowsill. Hold on. Or no, it's not on the windowsill. What am I talking about? It is... Man, I do it all the time, but now that I'm trying to do it, it doesn't work. Uh, there is something here. You can either jump on the... This windowsill, is it? Fuck, what is it? What is it? What was I... Huh. They must have either patched it or something. There used to be, like, something that you could, like, just jump up here that's above the door, but not quite on top of the roof, and you could stand on it. I guess they patched it or something, but this is the best corner, next best corner to be on. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Use this corner. Then, you want to keep rushing. You want to jump up here to check if anybody's back here. Okay, see if anybody's back in this parking lot. Jump over here to see if anybody's top 10 or maybe in the catwalk. You just want to scope out this entire area if you're rushing B. Make sure that it's safe for the bomb planner to put the bomb down. That's what I usually do. I usually go balls deep, rush in there. Another thing that you can do is you can just literally run in here, co check the coast. Coast is clear. Run into this building, see if anybody's there. And if not, then you can shoot people from this building. 
If you see somebody head glitching that barrel, more often than not, you're going to lose this gunfight. So don't even challenge that. Back away and just call them out to your teammates and try to get the leverage on them using, you know, the roof up here or something. You can also shoot through this glass if you guys didn't know that. So if you want to deal a little damage, you can shoot through the glass. It won't be much damage, but it will protect you as well from bullets. So if you don't want to absolutely expose yourself, that's a good thing to do as well. Now, while you're rushing over there, the rest of your teammates want to be doing a couple of things. One of your teammates wants to go catwalk. At least stay here and watch catwalk, watch glass over there. Or they want to push catwalk with you, anticipate somebody top 10 or over here. Or, when you're pushing out a catwalk, anticipate somebody to be top 3. You always want to check everything. Pre-aim everything, especially in Search and Destroy. Because that can, more often than not, win you the gunfight. Now, the third person... Usually, we'll go middle off the break, so let's go back to the break over here. Uh, we start off over here. One person can go middle, and they can either just go through this window, see if anybody's top three, see if anybody rushes cutoff. This is really good for calling out. You could also, if you choose not to go to the window, you can also run this way through the stairs, and you can see people going through here without the person up there on top three story spotting you. So you can stay up here, and you can see people's feet running through and uh, you could be pretty golden at that. So make sure that you kind of just back off a little bit and you can see people running through here. That's a good line of sight right there. Uh, and anticipate people rushing through. Some people like to rush straight down middle like maniacs and go through the tunnel. Make sure you anticipate that. So you usually want to have your last guy who's not going catwalk, not rushing and not watching middle to be somewhere back here, you know, somewhere up on, you know, nest or peak, as people like to call it, at least we call it this, top glass roof, whatever you want to call it, somewhere back here, okay, because they can watch door, they could also watch door from right here, standing on this corner, okay, you could just run up here, it's a, there's an invisible wall right here, but uh, you can see, see that right there from this angle, Make sure you only push out this far if you have somebody watching middle, somebody pushed up over there because you're pretty exposed when you're over here. If you want to be less exposed, you could go over here on top of this or behind this in this corner, watch flank, whatever. Just have somebody hang back with an assault rifle. You usually want that. And then everybody else can use SMGs. Maybe if you're watching middle, you want an assault rifle as well. Make sure that. And be wary of flankers. Be wary of that window right there. So that's how you would push offense on B. If you try to push up this way, and let's say you do encounter a lot of resistance. Let's say there is a guy there. There is a guy in the building. There is a guy back catwalk or rushing catwalk. Then it, it, sometimes it just comes down to gunfights. You just got to win your gunfights. If, let's say, you're the one rushing and you push through B, and some of your teammates die in middle or something or on the flank, and you know they're flanking behind you, do not push back to B. Push all the way through warehouse, push through office, whatever, Push through dirt side, push through to A. This is a really good time to make a rotation to A. And you can have a guy sitting top catwalk, watching right here. There's a good line of sight right here for watching the circular catwalk, because usually people like to come there. Uh, you could also sit down here. Again, this is a common spot. Watch purple. You can watch all the way through purple right here. Uh, you could also see, if you get up here, you can see them running through the stairs, so this is a good line of sight as well, to see them come through. Uh, and, um, yeah, push all the way through on the rotation to B, if that happens, if you get slain out. If not, then more often than not, that strategy should work. Rushing B is usually a very effective strategy, so make sure you do that. I hear somebody with the, with the phone vibrations in the distance, but I'm going to ignore that because I'm recording. Okay, so... What would you do if you go A? Well, if you go A, usually you would want to do kind of a slow push, or this could be a rush as well. You either got to go all in or all behind. You can't do something in the middle because there's not much cover here in this middle lane. You either got to rush balls deep and get to the A bomb site, or chill back here with snipers and stuff and, uh, you know, kind of take it slow. But same thing, you want somebody going middle in the same place, same thing. Then maybe have somebody with a sniper. They can see somebody who's on top three. Maybe they're pre-sniping over there. You can see somebody on top three, either behind this van if you want to. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to I'm trying to find new spots while I'm doing these to see if anything's cool. Nope, you can't stand all that. But you looking through this window works a lot. And if you get somebody in the head, it, you will one-shot kill them. There is some bullet penetration that goes through here, so you need to be wary of that. Uh, you need to understand that your bullets will do less damage. But 
if you shoot through this window, you'll be able to do some damage anyway, or you could just head glitch it right here. This is also pretty solid, and then you'll have less hit markers. So if you have a sniper rifle, that's probably a good thing to do. Also, I forgot to mention on the rush to B, if you're on top perch, if you have a sniper rifle, that's pretty useful as well. Just have somebody running overkill with an ASM1. Um, so yeah, so if you're rushing balls deep, you definitely want to make sure that one person rushes down this way and one person... One person, yes, one person. One person rushes this circular catwalk area as well. The reason you do this, usually there's somebody on defense who will counter rush all the way through A. If you have one person rushing through here, and you have one person rushing through there, that enemy can only get one of you guys. So at least you can get a trade. Now, if that happens at this point, they know that, oh yeah, they're rushing A for sure. Just keep going, keep going, all in. If you can overtake this area, if you can get this back catwalk control with an AR, okay, or an SMG, whatever, if you can get this back catwalk control, you are pretty much golden because then another guy comes in here, he gets purple control, locks out purple, he can see people coming through catwalk on the rotation, he can see people coming through tan, so you get one guy in purple, even sitting in this corner can be really effective. Sometimes people don't even check this corner. Uh, you have a barrel right here for cover. Uh, if you need to head glitch somebody over there. So you can see everything. You can see cut from this room. You can see catwalk. You can see top tan. You can see everything. So you got some, some guy in purple. You got somebody back catwalk watching their rotation through their flank. The other guy's planting the bomb. And that's your three people because let's say one of your guys dies in that trade-off. And that's about it. And then the guy who plants bomb, all he has to do is just watch flank. Um, preferably, what you can do to watch flank, you can simply head glitch this. This is a really good head glitch. Uh, and you can shoot through this, but it's not very uh, its not very effective to shoot through it. And sometimes it won't even register that you're shooting through it at all. So this is a really good head glitch as well to shoot people coming through there. That's usually what you want to do A. You get the bomb down, you have one guy in purple, one guy back catwalk, one guy watching flank. And if your fourth person is alive, a really nice spot that I like to use is back here behind this panel. Uh, because then all you have to do is really focus on just watching down here to see if anybody passes Or if you hear somebody jumping around make sure you just look up here to see if they're top three-story Because this is the only way they can come at you and all honestly besides that they can't see you from over there They can't see you at all so they wouldn't really have a reason to check it if they check it Then they're either just random people or they're just really smart and they watch my videos and they know that people are gonna uh, look at this spot, but yeah, this is a good spot just to sound horror bomb as well Once you plant bomb if you're in a 1v1 situation sit here crank up your turtle beaches your astros and Sound whore the bomb because you can hear it from here um, and That's about it for offense um, Those are the most important offensive lines of sights you can also you know You could also get on top of glass wall. That's always a thing that you can do I mean you don't have to follow my playbook play by play guys just this is all just ideas just throwing this out you just so you guys get a hint if you don't know what to do on these maps just some some of the better things to do again this is a very common spot head glitching this you know head glitching this for a stuff like that with a sniper with an assault rifle whatever watching cut you can see cut all the way through right here that line of sight very good line of sight right there uh, you can also jump up here to see people in the back spawn. If you have a really good eye, you can see people all the way in the back right there. That's a good anchor spot. We'll get into that when I start covering hard point. But I think that's enough for uh, attack. That's uh, I've covered a lot, I think. So let's get on defense. Now, on defense, be wary. This car blows up. Okay, so be, be aware of this car. Do not be near it because it will blow up and it will kill you. But once you blow it up, then you can, by all means, stay behind it and actually head glitch it like this. This is a good, um, I mean, if you want to camp in spawn, this is a good head glitch to use when camping in spawn. So make sure you use that. Uh, getting on top of office building, I don't know how many people know that you can do this. It's, I'm pretty sure it's pretty common, but in case you don't know, you can get on top of this. You can get on top of this. So when you're watching these doorways, you could sit up here and it can totally throw people off because they're not used to checking these areas. So, make sure you use this blue thing because it throws a lot of people off. They're like, what the fuck is he doing up there? But, you know, joke's on them because you actually killed them. So this is a good place to be just to fall back. Uh, if you're going on defense to B, let's go ahead and do the strategies. If you're going on defense on B, usually you want to rush with overclock because you want to get into this position. Now, there's a couple things that you could do. Mirror what I told you guys on offense. You can either go over here. Oops, I failed that boost. 
Okay, so you, you can either go over here, boost over here and dash and get on top of this building if you have an assault rifle. But be wary of snipers over here on top perch, maybe on pipe building, top pipes themselves. You know, just this is a really open, really obvious spot. So I usually wouldn't recommend it unless you're just trying to switch things up. What I like doing is I like going here and just sitting right here, right at this spot right here. Because if I'm sitting here, I can see people run to B. And one, they might run too fast. They might not even notice me. Or two, they might boost and they might not notice me. But in any case, if I do see them run this way to B, I pop right out and I pop them in the face. And usually they either try to get in the top of that corner or they're trying to get inside the building. Usually I have enough time to just get the advantage on them and just shoot them while they're running to that place. Uh, this is a really good spot. And also, if somebody goes up top there on the pipe building, you have a really good head glitch right here on this box to shoot the people going to the pipe building. You could also see people through this crack if they're on top of the pipe themselves. So you can you get a really good sense of how they're rushing it. If you if you have a guy right here, you will know when they go B. You will know. So that's a good spot. Obviously, you can look through the windows and stuff. I don't need to cover that. Then you could have a guy counter rush through catwalk. This is usually really successful because by the time they get here, the enemy, if they're rushing, is somewhere around this area or they're on top of this building. So this is uh, an easy way to bait and switch with the guy who's sitting right there. Very easy to bait and switch with them uh, to get the trade, get the kill, get the pick, whatever. But yeah, that's a good place to go. If you're going middle, this is very risky, but you can do this. If you have overclock and an SMG, this is the best way to do it. Go through middle, jump up this way, keep going, keep running, keep running. You don't really have to jump. Actually, I recommend you don't jump because then they'll just get attention to yourself. But run through here, run to middle. Hopefully that the guy hoping that the guy doesn't go stairs You know go this way boost if you need to and then just quickly run in here Okay, if you quickly run in here the guy in the window will not be able to see you or if they do Barely anything at all, especially if the window is not broken. It is super hard to look through a not broken window So just go through here and boom run through here and get in the side door, and I guarantee you, you will get a kill if they are rushing B. This is such a pain in the ass for people rushing A, because you can easily look through here and see if somebody's planning B. You see if somebody's rushing to that building. Of course, make sure that nobody's up top on top perch. If they are on top perch, what a lot of people do is they push back. That's not what you want to do because you're in a tight room. You're going to get pinched. If somebody's watching middle, they're going to pinch you. They're going to do that. I guarantee it. So if you get seen by somebody, if somebody sees you while they're up here or something, unless they're absolutely like right here. If they're right here, just shoot them from down here. Try to get as much cover as you can. Try to shoot them from down here. But if they're up there on that perch at a really gnarly angle, just challenge them. Just grow some balls and challenge them. And more often than not, they'll be so unexpected and so aggressive that they might just be dumbfounded and you might be able to win the gunfight like that. Once you kill this guy top perch, their flank is absolutely exposed and their whole defense crumbles. So that door is vital. You could also go through cut, you know, that works too, but cut is pretty obvious, it's really easy to guard, but the door, not as obvious, people might be looking that way, but it's harder to guard, you don't see it coming. So definitely, if not in a super rush, then just wait a little bit and do a delayed rush, and uh, yeah, do stuff like that. But that's what you wanna do on defense to prevent B rushes, and just take your time, guys. Like, you can have one guy, top tan right here, you know, just waiting. Just chilling, right? Just just watch it. Usually this is a head glitch. Oh, be very careful with this. Because you can slip off easily. Crouch. And get back here and you can head glitch this when shooting somebody on top over there. You can also use this pipe as a head glitch. Um, and you can also, actually, come over here and watch the doorway from these pipes. So make sure you utilize this. And you can also see a little bit of the window if you got a sniper. You can do that. Also, if you're a sniper, you can see this entire line of sight right here on top of the middle. So make sure you guys have a sniper. That's really good. But yeah, that's how you would defend B. Not too difficult. A lot of a lot of uh, you know common lines of sights. You can also sit through here. You can see people through here. And another thing on B, if you don't want to do this or if you've already done this a couple rounds, what you can do is you could also jump on here. And get on top of here. Now, I wouldn't recommend sitting in this corner because you don't see them running up. If you're going to sit, either sit right up here and be prepared to, like, jump and boost and engage. Or 
sit right here in this corner because not too many people expect that. A lot of people expect you to be sitting right in that corner. So as soon as they boost, they're going to be pre-aiming that corner specifically. They're not going to expect you to be all the way out here. And right here, you have a wider line of sight. So you'll see them coming even, even farther. So yeah, so keep that out. Keep an eye out for that. Now for A, there's not much uh, that, you know, I need to go over for A. Obviously, you have this doorway that you can use. Um, a good way to check A, if you're not sure if they're planning or not, it's a 1v1 situation, usually go through purple. That's the easiest way because you go through purple and you've got a line of sight right here to the uh, balcony, the catwalk, and you have a line of sight to bomb right here. So if they're planning bomb on any side, unless it's that side, which you could still see their feet sticking out, then this shouldn't be a problem to check. If nobody's there, then wrap back around because you do not want to get stuck in purple. Purple is one of those places you do not want to get stuck in. Um, if you're just guarding back here, then again, really generic stuff, guys. Use the catwalk. Catwalk's really good. Use top catwalk, whatever. Use bottom catwalk to watch that way. You know, again, remember this is a really good head glitch to see people coming from a mile away. You can see them coming from the stairs or here. Very, very good. And uh, yeah, you can also actually sit on top of these boxes, which is a really good corner to sit in. Maybe people in purple might not be expecting it when they're running this way. Because, you know, right here, you know, let's say I'm running through purple, doo -doo 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 -doo, and, you know, I can see somebody up there. But, again, you know, if you're, if you're going to take the chance, take the risk that they're not coming purple, you can watch this from a pretty good head glitch. Or if you have somebody in purple, this could be a good bait and switch opportunity. You just trade kills right here. That guy dies in purple, you jump out, boom, click, clack, bang, boom, boom, bang, bang, put him in the face, and you're good to go. So, yeah. So that's about it, guys. Let me know if you have any more sites and strategies. There are nade spots. I didn't go over them because I'm not that good at them. I'm not that good at them. Yeah, I said that right. Um, and I just don't want to go over them because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. So look them up on YouTube. You'll probably see a lot of grenade spots. Uh, usually I let my teammates do the nades, but I like to just run and gun like a beast. You know what I'm saying, homie? You know what I'm saying? You can also, by the way, look through these pipes in case you didn't know, and you can shoot through them. So make sure you do that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's about it, guys. Let me know if I missed anything. And as always, make sure you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I lied. I lied. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. You can lie down right here, and you can see somebody over there on that catwalk. Ah, I wanted to get that in. I forgot about that spot. There you go. Wanted to get that in. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.